Good morning, we're about to enter a few years of big disruption with AI and WordPress and today I've got something incredibly exciting to show you, a first look at ZipWP, a brand new tool that lets you build a website in about 60 seconds. I'm also going to show you why I think this particular solution is so interesting in the WordPress space and to help frame it, I've got two questions to ask you. Firstly, who do you think makes the most money? Who makes the big bucks in the WordPress space at the moment? And secondly, what is their biggest problem? And I'm going to give you just 60 seconds to think about the answer to those two questions. And while you think about them, I'm going to build a website. So I thought it'd be fun to start with to rebuild my wife's yoga website. You can see it over on the right here. This is running Divi and it was built oh, about 10 years ago. So what I'm going to do, I've got my wife's website over on the right and I'm just going to grab some of the text here because I'm going to use that in the AI. Over here on the left, I've got ZipWP. We're going to go to Create New over on the left and we're going to go Complete Website. Click on that and now we've got some options here of the type of website we want to build. This is a very early beta, but I want to show you how cool and interesting this is. And you say what kind of website. So it's kind of a health and beauty website. The name pop in here, so it's Rosy Glow. Let's click Continue. And this is where you put your text. This is your prompt essentially. And I've just taken the stuff from about Rosy Glow here. Let's click continue down here. In here, you can pop in an email address as well, which I'll do quickly. You can also add your social media down here. Now we just click continue down here. And we're almost there. Let's click on start building a website and start the clock. And here is my first draft and it's kind of incredible. It's got the right text. It's taken the text that I prompted in here and you can see it's got the about section in here. We've got a lovely designed yoga class section down here. So for a first draft, it's kind of mind blowing in a way. And because it's just built on WordPress and I'll show you how it's actually built in a few seconds, it kind of just works. So this will work on mobile as well, directly out of the box. We have a contact form immediately in here and it looks fantastic. This is a first draft, which of course it's WordPress, we can tweak it. When your site is launched, you'll be taken to a special customizer where you can make tweaks, things like upload your own logo and change some of the colors. This section, from my understanding, is gonna be expanded so you'll have more options to change things more radically. But at the moment, you can do things like change your fonts down here as well. And once you're happy, then you just click save and view website as you normally would in the customizer. Let's quickly try another website. This time I'm gonna try a charity website and I'm gonna basically build a UNICEF uh, website here. So I'm popping in UNICEF, click continue. Here's my prompt, click continue again. I'm gonna skip this step for now. Let's build our website. And here's my new UNICEF website, <laughs> it looks fantastic. Again, it's automatically built in my content. Everything is editable, but as a first draft, it's kind of extraordinary. We even have a little donate button with a donate form, which is using the shortcut plugin. And finally, I thought it'd be fun to try and rebuild the website of Rich Table, one of my good buddies and a WordPress guru. So let's pop in his name here. Let's see what happens here. And uh, there we go and click continue. Now I've just nabbed some text from his website. Sorry, Rich. Click continue and I'm gonna skip this step and let's start building. Wow, here we go. This looks great. I think it looks really cool. <laughs> and you can see we've got yeah, we've got some amazing content, which is grabbed from here, the prompt that I popped in here. See, it's actually automatically populated this text. I think the design looks fantastic. Uh, the structure of the site's kind of built. We've got my story, what's in there? Let's have a look at that. Yeah, that's really cool. I mean, it's kind of amazing, right? I mean, it's, it's truly kind of profound. Now, obviously the style might not be what you want, but you can tweak the style. Um, and for somebody like Rich, he probably wants to handcraft his site, so this wouldn't be a tool for him. But there's a big market of people, whether you're builders, life coaches, yoga teachers, that don't want to maybe go through the whole crafting experience. That something like this that would get you this amazing first draft, I can see this would be incredibly compelling. Right, back to my original question, which was who makes the big bucks in the WordPress space? And the answer is hosting companies. Hosting companies by far make the biggest money in the WordPress ecosystem. And the biggest problem that hosting companies have is churn rate. And one of the biggest problems around churn rate is people onboarding to WordPress. They find it hard, so they give up and go off and find different solutions or they end their hosting plans. So if somebody can crack that solution, 
for hosting companies, it has enormous economic drivers. So if you think about this, what we've got here is the might of Brainstorm Force, the guys behind the Astra theme who are behind SIPWP, and their financial clout and their product development now, so they're brilliant at creating products. And you've got this massive economic driver over here with hosting companies with a huge requirement to make this process of onboarding easier for customers. And then you throw into that pot this amazing new tool we have now called AI, which lets us almost magically create content out of thin air. You put all those things together and you've got an incredibly compelling, not just solution, but you've got a compelling economic case why this is gonna succeed. But you are probably sitting there thinking quite rightly that AI can never replace the proper skill of a proper designer with that whole creative process that goes into it. And this solution is directly positioned as a first draft. It solves that first draft problem, that blank canvas that new users have when they come to WordPress and it gets them over that hurdle very, very quickly. So I've pulled together the full resources available to come up with an amazing way of illustrating technically how this works for you. This is kind of groundbreaking. We've got a whiteboard. So what we've got essentially, how this works is we've got their web API, which is the stuff that Brainstorm and Force are developing. And I put it up here. And essentially what we've got is we've got a whole bunch of Astra starter templates here, which also link into Unsplash to create the images. And over here, it also talks to OpenAI and the output squirts out a brand new website. So the actual design bit is not being designed dynamically by AI. It's actually being pulled in by pre-existing Astra starter templates. So there will be limitations on the amount of templates that are available, but there's gonna be hundreds of them. And the beauty around this as a solution, as a product solution is, Brainstorm Force or Astra control the whole tech stack. And we can see that when we log into one of our sites, we'll see that the theme is actually Astra and it's just using Spectra blocks to construct all the pages. So if we go to any of these pages, for example, this homepage here, we can see that this has just been built purely using Spectra blocks. Let's look on the list view and you can see we've just got a whole bunch of Spectra blocks because they can control the whole experience by using their own products. And from my understanding, there are two main ways that this is going to be monetized. Firstly, ZipWP is completely free, but there will be additional service levels for agencies and for people that want more functionality, for example, to keep your sites on ZipWP for longer than you normally can. And secondly, this is a direct play to put Astra and Spectral into more websites. Imagine this goes into a million more websites, and that's a million more opportunities to upsell This tool is very much positioned as a first draft, so it's not designed to replace web developers or freelancers or agencies, but by my highly technical whiteboard. Just a few thoughts here. This is currently where we are in terms of this solution. This is a ladder. And these are some of the things that the team at Brainstorm Force have got planned that's coming up. So we're gonna have a template chooser, so at the moment you can't choose your templates. But you're gonna be able to choose your templates. They are looking at being able to put in an existing URL. So you can just pop in a URL and it'll dynamically create your new website based on that URL. Maybe this is an existing website of yours. You're gonna be able to do dynamic design. So once you've created your design, you're gonna be able to go into the designer and say, right, I like that, but I want it changed slightly per page potentially. And then you're also gonna have a redo. And that's just on the existing product roadmap. And this is just for the next year, six months to 12 months, who knows where we're gonna be in 12 months time with AI. So even though this solution is aimed at just being a first draft, I think the economic drivers and the companies behind this are really, really compelling. So I think this is gonna be a really, really interesting solution to watch. And for me, it's probably the most interesting AI web solution that I've ever seen. There is currently a wait list for ZipWP. I will put a link in the description where you can go and sign up to be one of their first beta customers. It's gonna be completely free. There is currently a wait list, I think of about 15,000 people, which gives you an idea of how people are looking at this with some interest. But I'd love to hear your thoughts. What do you think about what you've just seen? Do you think it's compelling or do you really not like the approach at all? Really let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear what you think. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this one. I think it's really, really interesting. If you did, if you can hit the like button down below now, it would be amazing because it makes a huge difference in terms of how this video is shared around YouTube. And also every time you do hit that like button, our cats get a little treat.
If you want to see more videos just like this, hit that subscribe button and you'll be notified every time I release a new one. Keep well and I'll see you soon. Bye for now.